Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. In just a moment, uh, I want to take you to the indicators, the rapture-ready indicators that we've been dealing with now uh, for several weeks. And I pray that it's helping you to be able to see how close we are to the imminent return of Jesus Christ. But first, I want to just remind you to be sure to register now for the upcoming Prophecy Files Conference right here at Pace Assembly. All the information is on the screen and we need you to register today. And I believe that it not only will be a blessing to you, but will help you to see more insights into how you can be ready for the next great event on the calendar of God, the rapture of the church. Now to this briefing, we've been dealing over the past several weeks with the rapture ready indicators, the vacuum of leadership, the global system that is already in place uh, for the antichrist arrival the absolute power of government over the almighty God's uh, power uh, that is attempting to take place as it has in the past and as it is happening even right now. And of course, the signs that are in the heavens and the artificial intelligence that's been taking place that is mimicking and trying to take the place of God almighty. Well, here's the next rapture ready indicator and it's very obvious in the world that we're living in today. Jesus said in Matthew 24, there would be uh, wars and rumors of wars. One of the signs, one of the indicators, there are dozens of global conflicts that are taking place right now across the globe. Uh, of course, the most obvious in the Ukraine and that of Russia, but there are many more that are taking place even as we speak and uh, within the past few days, we have seen the State Department in the United States that has been calling for all of the American citizens to uh, leave from Haiti because the uh, war, the next rumor, and what is happening in Haiti is now uh, coming to a fevered pitch. In fact, in recent days, an American missionary has been uh, kidnapped. There are other events that are taking place around the world. Is this something that we didn't know about? No. Jesus said in Matthew 24, one of the indicators of the last days would be the massive amount of wars and rumors of wars that would be taking place. Uh, our military across the United States, around the world globally is stretched thin. That was one of the things that was taking place during King Saul's time that would uh, cause great conflict because there was not enough of the military to take care of the situation, such is the case today. In many cases, as we've seen over the past few years, the demoralizing of, of military uh, individuals has been uh, something that's been coming down even from the top. I want you to understand, to go into conflict right now, the United States is in multiple locations, in fact, having just sent millions of dollars to Taiwan because China is getting ready to invade. They said it is war that is imminent. Well, let me just take you to a couple of things you need to be aware of. There's over 1,800 terrorist attacks that have taken place in the first six months of this year in West Africa. Uh, by and large, it is being ignored by most of the people around the globe, especially the media, and a lot of it has to do with Christian persecution that has taken place. Burkina Faso and other terrorist groups are having their way in the continent of Africa. And it is a conflict that is ongoing, has been, and you're seeing even more of it ratcheting up. Of course, uh, the conflict that is taking place, the war that is happening with the Ukraine and Russia, and uh, people that are gathering from around the globe, even Saudi Arabia trying to broker a deal that, that went uh, belly up this past weekend. Uh, Russia coming in with uh, China behind it to support them. And in recent days, uh, the Ukrainian government has acquired, listen to this. Now we've sent, the United States has sent military uh, munitions, cluster bombs, all kinds of things going on. They recently seized, the Ukraine did, a, a cache of uh, North Korean missiles. So they're now lobbing North Korean missiles into Russia. And according to this article, they're planning on taking the war right to the forefront. We've seen in the past few days as the war has ratcheted up from the Ukrainian side by sending a drone, they said, into Russia and actually striking in Moscow. The wars and the rumors of wars around the world uh, are more than what our mind can comprehend. And 
There are 10 major conflicts, according to the uh, International Crisis uh, website, 10 conflicts that are happening right now that are the biggest. That of the Ukraine, they're expecting Armenia and Iran and Yemen and Ethiopia, the Congo, Sahel and the northern continent of Africa, Haiti, Pakistan, and certainly Taiwan. Predictions are being made in the future that the United States and China will go to war over Taiwan and their own conflict. Ladies and gentlemen, these are nothing more than the signs that Jesus predicted would take place in the last days. You can read about it in Matthew 24 that he predicted that and not only predicted it, but prophesied it into the future as part of uh, the global signs that would take place that he was about to return. Have we always had war? Certainly. Is the wars that we're engaged in right now, are they different? They most certainly are. And we've never been in our world so much on the edge, so spread, so thin uh, from the United States military. It is so important that we're looking at these signs and paying attention as the day draws closer to Jesus Christ's return. The only question is, are you ready? These are rapture ready indicators that I'm giving to you right now that were prophesied by Jesus Christ and we need to pay close attention and have our eyes looking up because any day now he's coming. And I would encourage you to get ready and stay ready because I believe Jesus Christ is coming soon.